Hello nursery, it's the 1st of December and that means it's nearly time for Santa. So I thought I'd read the story called Oh Christmas Tree. I hope you're all ready. On Sydney Street at Christmas time, there's magic in the air. Windows bright with twinkly lights and sparkles everywhere. At 31, the tree is huge. At 32, it's pink. At 33, it's very tall and classy, don't you think? But why no tree at this house? No wreath upon the door? Whatever can be going on at number 34? There should be decorations when Christmas time arrives. So why is it that in this house they're running for their lives? <gasps> is it a bird? Is it a cat? Is it a monster? Or is it a hat? Who could be chasing them? What could it be? Well, blow me down. <gasps> It's a Christmas tree! Into the kitchen, the whole lot go racing. But hang on, the tree isn't doing the chasing. Stop! hisses Tinsel. Can we talk? calls out Belle. Slow down! pleads the bauble. Don't make me yell. You're not fooling anyone. What is all this about? Oh, can you see the tree all rolled up in the carpet? But tree carried on. I'm not here. I've gone out. Oh, he's hiding behind the curtain. Now Bauble was fuming. That means he's really, really cross. Why can't you see? We're tree decorations and you are our tree. We've all had enough. Why won't you stand still? Just get in that pot. You know the drill. There's been some confusion, Tree knelt down and said. I'm not standing around with a star on my head. I don't want to be dressed up. I want to be free. Now I have to be going, so please excuse me. <gasps> I'd rather be baking. I love to keep fit and sometimes I watch the TV for a bit. Science is gripping and skating is great but to stand in a pot looking sparkly I'd hate. Bauble was livid. I think that you're rotten. Christmas is special. It can't be forgotten. The tree was confused now and somewhat surprised. I didn't come here to be criticised. Enough of all this nonsense. Prepare for some shocks. I truly love Christmas. It's awesome. It rocks. I'll be helping with lunch. I'm both willing and able. I bet that they'll make me the head of the table. And then there's the crackers. I do love a riddle. And those colourful hats that you hide in the middle. But it's being together with family and friends that makes Christmas special and sad when it ends. Oh, I wonder if there'll be a present for me. Hmm, I'm not sure. Have you been a good tree? Of course I've been good. I always behave. And that was when Belle had a crafty brainwave. Dear tree, we do have a present for you. I think you deserve it and the others do too. A present for me? Oh, I'd like that a lot. Now pop off and get it. Go on, off you trot. When they came back, Tree was shouting, Yippee! What is it? What is it? What can it be? We just know that you'll love it. We don't mean to gloat. You were right, how fantastic. New boots, hat and new coat. If you look very closely, it's not a coat. I'm so
so warm and cosy. I love it, I do. And now I can take part in winter sports too. I'll be sledging, skiing, carving statues of ice and a trek to the North Pole would be rather nice. I'm sorry that you couldn't decorate me, but it just couldn't happen. I'm not that sort of tree. I've been nothing but trouble. That much is true. You should show me the door without further ado. Bauble stepped forward. You're one of a kind. You haven't annoyed us. We really don't mind. The others all grinned at Belle's clever coat stunt. Oh, can you see? Made her coat look like a Christmas tree. For the back of the coat didn't quite match the front. Oh, they got their own way in the end, children. They decorated him into a beautiful, shiny, glittery tree. I hope you enjoyed that story.